Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a cartoon 3D text effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. Start by create a new document. Set width to 3800 and height to 2000 pixels, also resolution to 300. Create a new gradient and set to black and white color in basic. Change black color to E901C and white color to F5C92A. Check reverse, scale to 250 and style to radial. Type your text. You can set font to luckiest guy, size to 600 pixels and increase the tracking amount to 45. Create warp text. Change style to arc, check horizontal, bend to plus 23% and vertical distortion to plus 1%. Right click on the text layer and click on blending options. Choose gradient overlay. Set first color to FFB907 and second color to FEF85A. Scale to 150 and angle to 90. Hold the ALT key and drag this layer to below and drop to make a copy from this layer to below. Zoom in up to 100% from Navigator panel. While the Move tool from Tools panel is selected, hold the Shift key and press right and bottom key from your keyboard one time. Double click on the right side of the layer to open blending options. Uncheck Gradient Overlay and choose Color Overlay, increase Opacity to 100%, Blend Mode to Normal and change the color to E55F00. Make a copy from current layer to below. Press bottom key for 2 times and left key for 5 times. Go to Blending Options and change color to FFFAC6, copy this color code and choose Stroke. Paste color code for this style. Set the size to 18 pixels. Copy this layer to below, press bottom key for 6 times and left key for 1 times. In Blending Options, click on Color Overlay and change the color to 18104A. Also change stroke color like this and then increase the stroke size to 28 pixels. While the current layer is selected hold the Shift key and click on the first text layer to selecting all text layers, then press Ctrl and G to add all selected layers to a group layer. Open the group and make a copy from last layer to below, and drag it to below again to lead the group. From now on we will create extrude related layers. Go to Blending Options, Color Overlay, change color to E55F00. Also set this color for stroke color. Press Ctrl and J to make a copy from this layer. Press Ctrl and T, make sure that Maintain Aspect Ratio is selected. Decrease horizontal scale to 99%, click on the text, hold the shift key and press bottom key on time and press enter. Now press Ctrl and Alt and Shift and T for 5 times. Add all the extrude layers to a group. Make a copy from this group to below. Open this group, click on the top layer, and press Ctrl and Alt and Shift and T for 5 times. While current layer is selected, go to Blending Options and change Color Overlay to 18104A. Also set this color for Stroke. Then increase the stroke size to 40 pixels. Now right-click on the current layer and copy layer style, select all this group layers, right-click, and paste layer style. Click on the top layer in this group and press Ctrl and J to make a copy. Rename it to Shadow and drag it to below to lead this group. Press Ctrl and T, decrease horizontal scale to 83% and move down. Return to the Layers panel, decrease the opacity of this layer to 90 and fill to 0. Go to Blending Options, uncheck the stroke, click on Color Overlay, decrease the opacity to 50%. Blend Mode to Multiply and change the color to 893700. Choose Drop Shadow, change the color like Color Overlay, Blend Mode to Multiply, Opacity to 50, Angle to 30, Distance to 0, Spread to 50 and Size to 60. Select all text effect layers and add to a group. While the Move tool is selected press Ctrl and A to select all document area. 
Now click on Align Vertical Centers and Align Horizontal Centers icon to be exactly in the middle of the document. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. Wait for the next tutorials.